Christian, what's happening, bro? Look, I'm doing this only for you at my house, at home. So first we're gonna take a bell pepper. We're gonna chop it up. If we can get a bell pepper in prison, we would. You know what I mean? In the main kitchen, get them out of the main kitchen. Throw that in there and let that start sauteing. In the pan. Of course, you got a real knife. Not, I'm not cutting it with an ID. Um, onion. About a half onion. I actually like onion, so I'm gonna use a half of onion. Uh, it used to be like a, 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 um, uh, a blessing to try to get fresh vegetables in there. So if you got fresh vegetables, obviously in there I wouldn't use a whole half of onion because you never know when you're gonna get more. You know what I mean? You can get them at least like once a week if you got a plug from the kitchen, the main kitchen. But everybody doesn't have a plug from the main kitchen. I did, for the most part. While I was at New Folsom, but not my whole term, obviously. Um, so we're just gonna chop up these onions. I'm gonna chop the onions up. Now obviously all this stuff is gonna um, be uh, better than uh, the prison stuff because, well obviously I'm not in prison anymore. So I'll chop that half of onion up. Actually half of the half actually, I only need half of the half. So throw that in there. Throw that in the pan. Now, I'm gonna throw it in the pan. Um, obviously, if we was in there, we would have uh, like made a fire bomb and put it underneath the uh, bunk and, and fried it under there or in a pan. Uh, we would make a pan out of soda cans. You can make a pan out of soda cans. All right. And then most people um, on the line, you get an apple box and you make an ice box. Uh, make an ice box and have, if you got a, like once again, if you got a plug from the kitchen, who will bring you ice every day. And you can keep your stuff like this in an ice box. That way it doesn't go bad. You know, because you don't want it going bad, right? Now, very far and few between. Did I ever see any of these? in prison, but I gotta use one because I like my stuff spicy. I don't eat nothing. I, I really don't like nothing that's not spicy too too much. Almost everything I eat's gotta be spicy. This is my best version of a spread that I can do for you and still eat it. Um this is my quick go-to meal like if I'm at home or whatever and uh, like the wife's at work still and I gotta go to sleep because I gotta go to work and I gotta make myself something yeah this is what I go to this is my go-to this is one of my go-to go ahead mix that up a little bit so in there I always had Mrs. Dash I always had Mrs. Dash because I used to always order Mrs. Dash. Uh, I used to always order Mrs. Dash for um, for uh, my uh, 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 seasonings. But obviously, we, we're not uh, we're not in the, um, in prison no more. So I'm gonna use my regular seasonings. So. Go ahead and uh, I'm gonna season um, the vegetables while they're cooking so the flavor can cook into the, the vegetables. That's just how I get down. Everybody don't have to get down. And I never stick to the same thing. So obviously we're gonna go with the salt and pepper, right? So I'm gonna go with the pepper. A little pinch of that. Let me get the salt. Boom, use Himalayan salt. Obviously, I didn't have Himalayan salt in there. This has a different taste to it, a little bit, but it's still salt. Um, spoon. 
We can take a little bit of uh, fresh minced garlic. Boom. I like garlic, so put that in there. Stir that up a little bit. You don't want the garlic to burn because it leave a bitter taste. Um, it gets bitter. A little bit more olive oil. All right. So then we're gonna take our bowl. So. I'm only doing one soup today because um, weird thing about this today, different, not weird, but different thing about today's, not my regular one, is I'm gonna add a, I'll show you in a second. I'll show you in a second. So obviously you will boil your hot pot water and then, you know, put it in a bowl. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. <laughs> All right. So in prison, you have a summer sausage. I'm gonna use a beef kielbasa, beef kielbasa, um, for your meat for for this meal. Put your seasoning packet on your vegetables. Don't put it in your soup. Put it on your vegetables. Just like you did your salt and pepper. Okay, trust me. Okay, I'm gonna move these vegetables off the heat for a second. I don't want my garlic to burn. I'm gonna take half of this. Eh. I don't really need half of it. I'm not really that hungry right now. So we're gonna take the beef kielbasa. So I need a bag for that. Mm. No big bags? Hmm. Let's do this. No big bags in there, so. I didn't see no big bags, so. Gotta preserve the rest of the meat. Boom, boom, boom. Small bag. Put that on the list for the wifey when she goes uh, shopping to get more of those. Okay. Sausage, we're just gonna slice them down the middle. You know, normal shit. Normal stuff, I mean, excuse me. Let's go to this back some. I'm gonna slice it down the middle. Um, and then slice it down the middle again. Slice it down the middle again. All right, and we're just gonna go down it, chop it into bite-sized pieces. Because if you're making a spread in prison, you wanna break it down as much as you can so everybody gets some, everybody who's eating with you. You know what I mean? Um, and I, that, that's just become a habit for me. So then I'm gonna add this, which is just the roasted vegetables, back to the flame. Add this meat to it, because this is gonna put off some juices. And I wanna cook the meat up a little bit, get that little grill flavor on it. Tell me. using one um one soup is because i'm gonna add chili to this so i um, got my can of chili now that my noodles are done i can slap this in the microwave real quick obviously we're gonna have a microwave in prison so i'm gonna 
pull that uh, bowl out with the soup. Let the soup sit in there for a second. Put it in that hot water. Take these beans, chili beans. Boom, put them in there. Heat them up real quick. Just throw paper towel on top of that. Oops. Don't want to mess up my microwave. Make paper towel on top of that. Push play. Boom, boom, boom. Throw my garbage away. Okay, now you can see what the, the meat, with the peppers, all the peppers and the meat look like. I'm just adding the chili because I like chili and it's a little more hearty. But at night, I gotta go to sleep. I gotta go to work. Just got off work, but I gotta go to work in about 10 hours. I didn't clean the mess up while I'm waiting. Alright, now don't let those noodles, can you hear me? Don't let those noodles sit too long in that water because they'll get too mushy and you don't want mushy noodles. So if you decide to make this, don't let those noodles sit in that water too long. You don't want them all the way done. You definitely don't want them all the way done at all. Okay, put the knife back in. Clean, clean. All right. Take that off the fire. Pull the noodles off. And you're gonna save a little bit of the water. You're gonna save a little bit of the water in the noodle and pour it into the vegetables and the meat. Check me out. The whole noodles and everything. You want it all in there. That juice, that water. The starch in the water is gonna um, is gonna um, deglaze the pan. So basically, it's gonna get all the seasoning. Out. And it's gonna mix the seasoning into your plate, into your noodles. Very good, actually. second same bowl fork obviously I got a fork not a spork um chili's hot enough ah, look good idea some of the beans popped all right Oof. that fork for that chili mix that up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little hot sauce to this chili because I know it's not spicy like I said before, I like spicy. Me personally, Crystal, for this meal. Um, I have almost every hot sauce. A little hot sauce. Mix that in. looking little quick spread for you Christian finally I'm gonna add the chili on top because I want the chili uh, and then I'm just gonna pour it over the top of that and then all those flavors are mixed together this is my thing but that's your video bruh I hope it's good enough man <laughs>